The Dare to Care program is a free cardiovascular screening and education program that was started by the Heart Health Foundation in 2001. Started in Annapolis, Maryland, spread around the region, and now is both a national and international program. What we try to accomplish this, with this program is to identify those patients that have vascular disease before the vascular disease finds them. So many of the patients I saw in my clinical practice already had a stroke, already had a heart attack, or I've been called to see them in the emergency room from complications. The goal of this program is to catch that disease earlier so that either elective operations could be performed or more importantly, even earlier in the stage of disease, get them on the right medications and preventive strategies so they never need us at all. And what we do in this screening, and it literally only takes 15 minutes and it's painless. Patients sign up, they call a specific number, they're scheduled for an appointment, and then they get their blood pressure taken, they fill out a risk questionnaire, and then a simple ultrasound of the carotid arteries, the abdominal aorta, and then we measure the blood flow in their legs. With that information, we can do a couple things. First of all, identify if there's any significant pathology. And then the second thing is we can identify should your preventive medications change. Once you identify someone that has vascular disease, you move from being a primary prevention candidate, i.e., how do I keep the disease from ever happening, to a secondary prevention, I've got it, how do I keep bad things from happening or it get worse? If you look over the years, and for instance, in the Annapolis region where we started, we've screened almost 70,000 people just in that region alone. Of that group, 48% have had disease detected and two thirds of those are actually not on the right preventive medications for the disease we detected. So there's a great ability really to impact the long-term outcomes, reduce heart attacks, reduce strokes, and actually get the kind of outcomes that we'd like to see for patients. And I think what patients see is it's a real opportunity to get on the front side of disease and offer something for free. We screen everybody 60 and older, everybody 50 and older with high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking, or family history. And now we've extended that to people that are 40 and over with diabetes because of the risk of vascular disease in that population. And I think it's been one of the most incredibly rewarding things I've done throughout my career.